Would I recommend the LTS? Uh, I already have. <laughs> if we still had the old equipment, I probably would not have continued. <laughs> no one, Kyle. No one. My name is Kyle Powers. I'm one of three owners here at Powertex Group. We're a family company. We've been around for about 30 years. We like to think of ourselves as an all-encompassing business. Uh, when we approach clients, we want to have the ability to not say no. And it's vendors like Chromaline that are gonna help us get to the next step. When we looked at the LTS, to me, it seemed like it had been tested, so it was proven by other shops, and it's the new frontier. There's nothing else on the market right now that's gonna give people who are plastisol screen printing or water-based screen printing that type of image quality for that type of investment and the amount of time it takes to burn, it's just like it's this all kind of, you know, encompassing unit that solved that problem for us. We were serious about, about fixing a problem, automating, and moving ourselves into the future, and that's where the LTS fit in. Being able to, to bring a machine in and then have a vendor come in with the machine and help us set up our hot folders, help us set up our network, help us make sure that everything is gonna work correctly. We hadn't seen support like that before. It made us a lot more confident in spending money in the future on like new equipment and automation. The install process, I got a huge kick out of. Our team wasn't ready for how fast it was gonna happen. The efficiency of being able to like uncrate the machine, get the machine into its place, the knowledge base of letting us know ahead of time uh, what kind of power hookups need to be there, what kind of air hookups need to be there so we could be prepared. I, I knew the footprint six months before we even thought we even cut a PO for the machine. You buy a piece of equipment like this, you're like, man, it's probably gonna take two days to calibrate this thing. And it's like a, you know, it's like an iPhone. It comes out of the box, turns on, and it's ready to go in 15 minutes when you transfer your stuff to it. My name is Tree, and I run the pre press department here at Powertex. We've had the LTS for about six months. It is definitely night and day from the original equipment that I started with. It's very consistent and it cuts down my time practically in half, sometimes even more. There's days where I can triple some of my workload. Time frame wise, we can get a set of screens out in 10 minutes to the floor. So that's four minutes on printing. We wash them out quick and then all of a sudden, you know, they're ready to go on the press. The IT part of it is probably one of my favorite parts. I can send out an email and I have the response the same day. And it's not a runaround, it's simple instructions. And if you can follow simple instructions, you can make it work. The LTS that we brought in was the LTS 8012. And we weren't going for how do we keep up with our capacity today. We were going for how do we like take our capacity and make it a, a task of that position today and then look at all the extra capacity we have built in. So if we wanted to add another head back there, if our capacity grows, we don't have to buy another machine. The other thing I, I, I mentioned to people, um, if it pertains to them about the machine, is we, uh, we did that pin system upgrade for MHM. Having your screens match registration to your presses is it's a difference maker. With the, the LTS system versus the CTS system, number one, we're looking at uh, no consumables. How much ink gets wasted when you're trying to flush a printhead? How much ink gets wasted when you're trying to, you know, like figure out a design or you're reburning screens? So it's another raw consumable cost that's just not there anymore. When we looked at image quality, uh, we knew there was gonna be overnight differences. That was something coming into it we could just expect. Um, there's there's no, no ink splatter, uh, there's no streaking, there's no, uh, my print head only works 50%. Being able to, to just expect that type of quality out of a machine now and not have to, I, mean, I don't think we've touched the calibration on it. It's been six months. Whereas with our CTS, that was a weekly thing. You know, you can't buy time back. No matter how much you pay people, no matter how much you do, time is the one thing that you just can't manufacture. We have our schedule, we're set. So the more time that a machine can provide back to us because it's faster in a process, the more we can use that time to do something else, you know, for the betterment of our business. Not that all of us are just trying to remove people and automate and you know become the businesses that just have machines. 
some of us are trying to automate and provide better jobs, better compensation, better employment opportunities, because the areas that we live in demand it. And so being able to put quality equipment in, it helps us do that. Was it worth the investment? Yes. The ROI was simple, the numbers looked great, and uh, yeah, money well spent. You can't take it. <laughs> I want this one. No, you should. <laughs>